Okay, let's go ahead and add a digital elevation model to ArcMap 10. So once you've got ArcMap map launched, you can just click here on the plus inside the yellow diamond. And um, one thing is just to make clear is that sometimes you'll come in and you won't see what you're looking for, and that's because you need to connect to folders. So in this case, I'm just going to connect to a folder that's above where my files are. This happens only the, really the first time you run it. So uh, now once I'm, I've done that, then I just drill down. So my files are here in EX1 standard dem. So I'll just go here. These are the four uh, packages of digital elevation miles, one square kilometer each. And drill down here. And so FG will be the first one. Add it. So when you add it, and this doesn't happen very often, but once in a while, so it's illustrative. These are ARC uh, binary grids, and um, there's a little bit of an error in that they don't have an info file associated with them. So if you look here, the elevation range goes from uh, basically minus 3 to plus 3 times 10 to the eight, 38th meters. And I just want to let you know that that's 10 to the 22nd light years. It's bigger than the universe. So that is definitely not correct. So there's a number of ways to fix this. The easiest one is if you just right click, go to properties, click on the symbology tab, and then see here it says stretch type none, which is the problem, or let's say standard deviations, just to be sure. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but standard deviations is a good one. And it says, do you want to compute the statistics? And it says, Yes, and that's basically what the problem was, is the info has this info file has the statistics in it. So now the elevations look reasonable. These are in meters, so I say okay. And there it is. There's our color-coded digital elevation model.